10 digit grid, November uniform, 6731209571, over. 10 digit grid, November uniform, 6731209571, out. Hey, what's going on everybody? JP here and I'm finally uh, getting around to doing the Rotopax Rototrax versus the Max Trax recovery board comparison. So I guess I had done the uh, unboxing of the Rototrax probably about a week and a half ago and then I was planning to do it that following Friday and we had this big rainstorm. I would gotten up to come down to the beach and it was just pouring. And then we had a tropical storm midweek and now it's Monday the following week. So. Finally down here at the beach and we're going to do a side-by-side -side comparison of the Max Trax recovery board, the, um, the MK2 ones, versus the new, newly released Rotopax Rototrax recovery boards. So you have a $99 board versus a $299 um, dollar board. So uh, before we do some testing, let's do some measurements, so, show them side-by-side. And we'll go from there. All right, so before we get started, thanks again for tuning into this video. If this video helps you, please hit the thumbs up. All the thumbs up help our channel grow. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button that's down below and join our big family. All right, let's get to it. All right, so the unboxing video I did, I pretty much went over everything about the Rototrax. And so now I got my hands on the Max Trax recovery board. And I'm just gonna say this thing feels solid and feels way different than the rotor tracks. I don't it just feels like $299 worth of um, material because it is heavier um, but it's just it's just dense like you just feel like it's not gonna go anywhere. So All right, so before we, we begin on the measurements on that, but it comes with this nice little uh, cardboard wrapping. And then on the inside, it actually has a full printout of the warranty information. It's a lot. I'm not gonna read all this. <laughs> So here's the Max Trax. You can see the profile is even thinner too. I can't really flex it. That was the big thing that I was able to do on the Roto Trax. So you're able to flex it. Here's the side by side. You can see the profile difference. So. It's definitely a lot less height. It's much more dense. You can't flex it. So, yeah. All right. So, end to end, the Rotopax is a little short. And they don't stack, so if you were to get one or the other, they don't stack together, see? All right, so the total overall height of two stacked Rototrax boards. It's about four and a quarter. And it's about a little under three inches for the max track, so you get a height difference. The other thing that was I noticed on the roto tracks was that it was kind of like wavy in certain spots. This is like max tracks is straight. It does have six handles: one, two, three, and then three on the other side. It has its own mounting system. They sell the pins uh, separately, so you can mount it to your uh, trucks. And they have four spots here. So the roto tracks, you're obviously going to use the uh, roto packs mounting system. All right, so let's uh, let's go do some uh, tests on these guys. See how they hold up. See what flexes more, and then uh, yeah, enjoy the beautiful day here at the beach. 
All right, so the biggest thing that I'm interested in is the flex of these boards and um, you know, I'm digging a little ditch here. I'm gonna test as a bridging. So I'm gonna start off with two boards together on each and then we'll see how they flex and I'll do multiple passes. All right, so that was two roto tracks together, and it's kind of hard to show on film, but there is actually a nice bend in the boards now. I don't know if you can see. All right, let's try the max tracks. All right, I don't see any bend in the max tracks and they actually felt a lot better uh, crossing over. So now I'm gonna do one under each tire. So there's definitely a noticeable bend in these guys. Oh, look at that guy. Look at that. Totally bent. But they still match up when you pair them together. All right, let's try the Max Track solos. So they're still straight. And I even dug a little bit of a digger hole, digger hole, <laughs> deeper hole. So back to the original shape, no bends. All right, so, sorry, it's so sunny out right now. Um, so the max tracks on this uh, bridging of going over like deep sand hole, I got to give it to Max Trax, um, both the double and the single. On the uh, double under one tire, the rotor tracks I would say was pretty equal. Um, the single Max Trax hands down winner, and under each tire, uh, the Max Trax was hands down the winner. There was no noticeable bend. The uh, rotor pack still has the bend in them. The Max Trax are perfectly straight. Um, they're just made out of some really heavy-duty material. It's also 299 bucks. All right, so I'm gonna get the front tires in some holes, and we'll see about uh, uh, getting unstuck.
All right, everybody. So, as you can see, that was um, using the max tracks to get out of uh, some sand holes. And I will say that I definitely felt, I don't know, it's weird to say, but I just felt more traction with the max tracks. I felt like the, um, the Rotopax boards, my tires kind of were a little swirly, almost like um, they were super aired down and they were just all over the place. I don't know if that makes sense to you guys, but when I drove over the max tracks, definitely felt more solid. That's all. Um, the other thing, both the max tracks and the roto packs, personally, I think they suck as shovels. I guess if you don't have a shovel, they will definitely make do. Um, but that's why I always carry around a real shovel. It was just awkward. That is it. I don't know, but you. But yeah. But comparison side by side, the Max Trax is the better shovel because it's a stiffer board. So when I was shoveling with the Roto Packs, it would flex. And that I think is the biggest thing is that it would basically flex. So it was awkward digging with them. Um, all right. So here's the thing. I'm just going to say the Max Trax is the overall winner. And part of that reason is it's 299 bucks. You're paying for $299 of like super engineered and heavy duty material. The Roto Tracks, Roto Pack Sports, it's 99 bucks. So of course, it's like an entry level recovery board, um, is less material, it's less stiff. So it all depends on what you're looking for. If you're looking for something that's just budget friendly and that you're only gonna use once in a while, I would say get the roto tracks. Um, if you're looking for a board where you're always on the beach, you're always off-roading, and you want something to last like forever, I would get the Max Tracks. Just the way it rebounds, it doesn't. It's almost like memory foam. You compress it, you warp it, and then it goes right back to its uh, regular shape. Whereas the roto tracks, you could obviously see. I drove over that thing. It bent and it stayed in that shape, and I think it's still bent. So, yep. So really, I hope this comparison helps you make a decision because, you know, you can definitely get a decent recovery board for 99 bucks in the Roto Packs, Roto Tracks recovery board. Um, but personally, being that right now, 99% of our off-roading is always on the beach, I'm gonna stick with the uh, Max Tracks. So I'm probably, I'm not gonna pick up another set because I have lockers on the Jeep. So I think as long as having two boards with the lockers, I should be able to get out of any problems on the beach. All right, so thanks for watching and happy Monday. I hope this video helped you. Uh, if you could, please hit a thumbs up. Tell me if you liked the video. Please comment down below if you plan on getting the Roto Tracks or if you plan on getting a set of Max Tracks. And then um, I'll leave a link to the Roto Tracks and the Max Tracks where you can get them and get more information about them. All right, thanks again for watching. Have a great day. Please don't forget to subscribe and also down below, hit up our uh, Teespring store. We got some uh, cool merchandise shirts and this Jeep Topograph shirt. I'm like sweating. It is, it's only like 74 degrees here at the beach, but it's sunny, it's gorgeous. And I think this might be an all day affair until I have to go to work tonight at 11. So I thoroughly enjoyed making this video because I'm on the beach. All right, everybody, have a great day. See you on the next video. I'm delayed on the Overland cargo rack. I just finished nine days straight and now I gotta go back to work tonight for two more. I got a vacation coming up, so I'm gonna try and bang out a lot of projects during that vacation of like seven days. All right, see you on the next video.